Once again, for those that don't know, Hey Sean is where I answer questions from the tribe. This one crops up a lot, so I keep answering it over and over again. To look to legitimate question. Here's the problem: is that there's still nurses out there that, oh, there's still there's still nurses out there that believe you got to do the whole two years of med surg experience. Crap. Bullshit. That's what it is. It's bullshit and laziness. I think a new grad should start wherever the fuck they want to, if that's where their passion lies. Sorry. Not a kid-friendly show. This BS is starting somewhere to get your experience. Seriously, where do we come up with this crap? You're going to get experience no matter where you go. Whether you go on med surge or long-term care, through the ED, PACU, OR, ICU, um, you still get experience. Here's the caveat. If you're a new grad and you start in a specialty area, you better be willing to put in the goddamn work. Can a new grad start in a specialty area? Absolutely, freaking lutely But it ain't easy. And I'm and I I'm sh- it's sugarcoating how fucking hard it really is. Being a new grad in the ICU, we're gonna talk about ICU because that's where I live. Guess what? I did it. Graduated from a diploma nursing school many, many moons ago, and I started in the ICU. Got to have the type A personality. You got to be on top of things. You got to have detail-oriented personality. You are going to be taxed in every way, shape, or form to the nth degree. I mean, not only are you going to have to learn how to do your fucking job, but you're going to have to do it at a fucking marathon pace. Nah, not a marathon. Goddamn sprint. A non-stop sprint. You have to grow up fast. You're going to have to put on your big girl panties on day one. Or big boy. Yeah, we we have big boy panties. You're going to have to grow up fast. You're going to have to grow a set, if you know what I mean. Because having that sick... You're going to have to have a thick set of skin because you're going to have to learn and be able to take a hit. Being in a specialty area requires a high degree of critical thinking skills. And the amount you have to learn in a very short amount of time in a very fast pace is overwhelming. But it can be done. You're just going to need a lot of help and you're going to have to work really hard. You're going to have, you will have to have a good team. That is probably the most important piece of the puzzle, and that's hard to predict. A good, te- a good team has an equal mix of staff, both seasoned and new, so that you can learn from all of them. I guess my best piece of advice for anyone interested, new grad, going to a specialty area... You need to ask the question, do they hire new grads and what's the process? And if there are any new grads that you can talk to. Talk to these new grads that just got off orientation, in orientation, and find out how it's going. Because guess what? A bad orientation experience will break you. Yeah. It's it's fucking scary. But it can be done. So you got to have a passion for it. you got to have a passion for it. Do not, as a new grad, go into a specialty area because you don't have anywhere else to go or you just don't like med surge. Uh-uh. That is a, that's guaranteed failure. Because you don't have the passion for it. Yeah, hope I answered that question. I'd love to hear what the tribe has to say. What do you think about new grads in specialty areas? Let's talk about it. What's been your experience about new RNs in specialty areas? Leave me a message.